There are tons of golf tournaments every year on the PGA, DP World Tour, and other world tours. But golfers have just four chances to put themselves among the sport's elite with the major championships. But there are golfers who have won various tournaments worldwide and have never won a major despite having good odds to win. This is not only frustrating for the golfers, but also fans rooting for them. Some of these players have age on their side with plenty of opportunities down the road, while for others, the primes of their careers have passed. However, here are some golfers who haven't won a major. Colin Montgomery. Colin Montgomery is a Scottish professional golfer who has won the European Tour Order of Merit titles a record eight times, seven of which were in consecutive years from 1993 to 1999. Colin has won 31 European Tour events, the highest ever won by a British player. As a result, he ranks fourth on the all-time list of players with the most European Tour victories. With over 54 wins worldwide, Colin is one of the best Scottish golfers of all time. But it is somewhat shocking that despite his record-breaking wins, Monty has never won a single major. Unfortunately for Colin, he currently holds the record for most second-place major finishes without winning one. Monty was a runner-up five times. He was second in the 1995 edition of the PGA Championship, the US Open in 1997, and the 2005 British Open. Colin tied for second in the 1994 and 2006 US US Open and was third in the 1992 US Open. Colin Montgomery is popular on the Ryder Cup scene and is often called the king of the Ryder Cup. Monty sits in fourth place on the all-time list for most points won by a golfer at the Ryder Cup with a record 20 wins, 9 losses and 7 draws. So he probably wouldn't lose sleep about not winning a major. The next golfer on our list is one of Japan's finest golfers, Isao Aoki. Isao Aoki appeared 42 times in major tournaments, and in those 42 appearances, he made the cut 29 times. Isao has won a total of 51 times on the Japan Tour, making him one of the best golfers to ever come out of Japan. Isao also holds the record of being the first Japanese player to win on the PGA Tour and the European Tour. Aoki went pro in 1964, but had to wait nine long years before getting his first win. In 1980, the Japanese pro golfer had his best finish in any major. Playing against the legendary Jack Nicklaus, Aoki finished in a four-way tie for second, two shots behind Nicklaus. The next golfer on our list wears orange on Sundays and has yet to win a major. Well, he still has age on his side and might end up clinching one before hanging up his clubs. Ricky Fowler. Ricky Fowler seems to have been in this conversation for quite some time as he's come so close. Before he turned pro, Fowler was golf's best amateur, a position he held for 36 weeks between 2007 and 2008. In 2014, Ricky joined Jack Nicklaus, Jordan Spieth, and Tiger Woods as the only golfers to finish top five in each of the four majors in just one season. In 2016, the 33-year-old was ranked number four on the official world golf rank ranking after winning the Abu Dhabi HSBC Golf Championship. He has won five times on the PGA Tour, yet he's still in search of his first major. Ricky's game has struggled in recent years. Still, he was among the best golfers on the PGA Tour for a record four or five year stretch in his mid-twenties. Fowler still has some time in his career and may win a major, but for now, he remains an awesome player who hasn't won golf's crowning achievement. Coming up next is one of the only two golfers who held the world number one in rankings and never won a major, Luke Donald. 24 players have made it to number one on the official ranking, but only two of them have never won a major, and Luke Donald is one of them. Donald turned pro in 2001 and made his debut at the Masters four years later. His performance as a first-timer was remarkable as he finished in a tie for third place and jumped 117 positions in the world rankings from 130th to 13th. Luke spent a total of 56 weeks as golf's best player between 2011 and 2012. Luke also spent about 200 weeks in the top 10. You could tell he was amazingly consistent, but the consistency just couldn't win him a major. In 2012, Donald was awarded the Most Excellent Order of the British Empire, MBE. The next golfer is the second player who also held the world number one and, like Luke Donald, never won a major. Lee Westwood. If you know a thing or two about golf, 
you'd be familiar with Lee Westwood. Westwood is known for his rigid consistency in tournaments on five continents, North America, Europe, Asia, Oceania, and Africa. Since the 90s, he has won titles in four consecutive decades and represented Europe in 10 Ryder Cups. So maybe it's safe to say his fantastic career has been everything but quiet. But if Westwood was to win a major in the nearest future, it might as well be one of the most popular major wins of all time. But let's face it, West Westwood has all it takes to be one of golf's greats. In 2010, he became the world number one, overtaking the renowned Tiger Woods and becoming the first ever British golfer to rank the world's best since Nick Faldo held the position in 1994. However, Westwood has finished runner-up three times at major championships, once in the 2010 Open Championship and twice in the Masters in 2010 and 2016. But if he were to win a major, he would become the second oldest man to achieve the feat after Julius Boros. Like Lee Westwood, the next golfer on our list is also an Englishman, Ian Poulter. Poulter started playing golf at age four and turned pro at 19. Although his position as a European Ryder Cup legend is firmly secured, the 46-year-old never won a major. The closest the Englishman has come was a second-place finish at the Open Championship in 2008, where he finished four shots behind the eventual winner, Padraig Harrington. Poulter has also won eight top ten finishes in majors and never really looked like going to the next level. However, we hope Ian Poulter can channel his Ryder Cup magic to clinch one of golf's coveted prizes before his career is up. The next golfer on our list has an impressive golf resume that is lacking in one thing, a major. Matt Kuchar Nine-time PGA Tour champion Matt Kuchar has won a World Golf Championships event, a memorial, and the Players' Championship. Five of Kuchar's 12 top 10s in majors have come since the beginning of 2017, including his runner-up finish to Jordan Spieth in the year's Open Championship. Matt's best chance could come in the Masters. After all, he's had four top 10s since 2012. Consistency has been his trademark for years of late, but in the last six majors, Kuchar missed the cut. The next golfer is another Englishman who has gone pretty close but never made a breakthrough, Paul Casey. Paul Casey is another English golfer who has struggled to win the majors and has even gotten close on numerous occasions. In the past, Paul Casey has had 12 top 10 major finishes, and in the 2020 PGA Championship, he came very close to glory, finishing in a tie for second. Having recorded three consistent wins on tour in the last three years, Casey has shown he's still on top of his game. But for how long without a major? There might just be a big win waiting for him if he can constantly put himself in challenging positions. Coming up next is another golfer who doesn't have a lot of PGA Tour wins but has been incredibly consistent, Tony Finau. Yes, here's a guy who has two PGA Tour wins and is among the best golfers to never win a major. Finau is a man with uber talent who has the ability to hit the ball as far as anybody who has finished top 10 at 10 different majors, inclusive of four of the last five. Tony Finau is a terrific player who, at 33, will possibly one day snap his major list streak. Finau generally plays well in majors. From 2018 to 2021, Tony recorded nine top 10 finishes in 15 appearances in a major championship. The next golfer has competed in over 800 events throughout his career, but the shocking part is he has never won a single major. Jay Haas Jay Haas might not have won a major, but since he started his career in the 70s, he has done a lot to be considered one of the best players the game has seen. Haas won nine titles on the PGA Tour and also finished top five in three major tournaments. Jay holds the record for the most major starts without a victory, and that's just like playing in every single major in a 23-year run without winning one. Well, at least he tried. But now, it's up to you. Which golfer do you think deserves a major, and which golfer do you think deserves to be on this list? We'll see you in the next one.